un banano. Menú. Se la banana. Miam, miam. Welcome back to our road trip. So today we are starting our trip from Prince Rupert, and we are going to Prince George. So this is technically the third day of the drive itself. So just a recap:、uh, on the first day we went from Calgary to Prince George, and then second day Prince George to Prince Rupert. Now yesterday, the third day of our trip,、uh, we spent we spent the whole day in. Prince Rupert. So that was quite fun.、Uh, it's a nice little town, and it's right by the ocean. So today we are driving back, and we're starting from Prince Rupert. We're going to Prince George.、Um, we have charged at our level three charging station here, a BC Hydro 50 kilowatt, and we charge up to 80 percent. And then we just plugged into our hotel. So with level one charging at the hotel,、uh, we managed to get to 100% overnight. So we're starting with as much battery as we can, and our first stop is Boulder Creek. So this place has、uh, two 25 kilowatt chargers as well as a level two charger. The last time we were there,、uh, unfortunately, one of the chargers is not working. So we're expecting the same situation, and the idea is the more State of charge we have right now,、uh, the less we have to charge later on, and the more resilient we will be to any unforeseen circumstances such as、uh, down charger and those kind of things. So we are going to start our trip, and we'll join you in Boulder Creek. We are in Boulder Creek, and、uh, I have the CCS plug here. So it took us about、uh, two and a half hours to get here, and、uh, we arrived with 46% battery. The consumption is 5.9 kilometers per kilowatt hour.、Uh, it's a little bit higher than before, but this whole trip back is going to be a bit of an uphill. So 5.9 is actually not bad. Uh, we're gonna charge here for a while.、Uh, we're gonna have a little break. The weather is very nice, so、uh, we'll join you when we leave Boulder Creek. We have been charging for about an hour.、Um, we're almost done charging. It's at 80 percent. We just need 85 percent to get to our next stop. So, just kind of want to show you around this area.、Uh, there are two 25 kilowatt chargers, of course,、um, but only one is working. It's the same as、uh, our trip to Prince Rupert.、Uh, this one's not working. There's the other one that we're plugged in. That one is working. And、uh, let's show you around the rest of the rest stop.、Uh, it's a pretty typical rest stop, basically. Uh, we got a few picnic tables.、Uh, we got some、uh, outhouses. 
yeah, pretty much nothing else. Uh, there had been, we, we have saw some uh, trails maybe that looked like we could go into the woods, but they didn't go very far. Um, so I don't actually think those are hiking trails. Uh, other than that, not much else to do. Look at that, uh, it's like a battlefield. So many dead bodies. Um, that just proves of how far we've driven. Uh, we are here in Burns Lake and we are about to plug in. So the whole trip between Boulder Creek and uh, Burns Lake took about three hours. It's a total of 263 kilometers. And uh, we arrived with 20% battery and our consumption is uh, 5.9, so that's actually really good. 5.9 kilometers per kilowatt hour, that's really good consumption. Let's plug in. So I got my card. Okay. Gonna plug it in. Uh, the trick here is <laughs> where do I uh, touch on this thing to open it? Uh, okay, found a clean spot. Okay, we're plugged in. Uh, we're gonna charge here until the charging speed throttles down, which is typically around 74%. Uh, the next stop is 164 kilometers from here, so if we charge up to about 74, 75, we should be totally fine join you when we leave. Welcome back. Um, we finished charging at the uh, 50 kilowatt charging station in Burns Lake. And we're just cleaning up this uh, windshield because it's way too dirty. Couldn't see out of it anymore. So we charged up to 75%, which is uh, where the charging speed throttling happened. And uh, you know, it was charging quickly, so we just charge as much as we can until it slows down. Uh, basically, our next stop is uh, Savory West. Um, we go there not because we need to, but we go there because we want to check out the charging stations. It's the Savory West charging station that wasn't working the last time we were there. So I do want to see if they're working now. So the display on those chargers, they say that you need either an app or a car to activate it. But as far as I know, there's no app or card. So yeah, we'll see what happens. And uh, when we get to Savory West, we'll let you know how things are working. But first, let's get this cleaned up.
So we have uh, just uh, drove past Savory West. Actually, we went into the rest stop and then we checked to see if the charging stations are working. Uh, they are not, and they're not working in the same way as last time when we came across here, uh, where the charging station tells you that you need either uh, a tap card or an app to operate the charging station. But again, there's no such thing as an app nor a card. We tried every card actually. Uh, last time we tried our flow card, our credit card, uh, even the charge point app um, using the NFC on the phone and none of them works. So I'm pretty sure uh, this is an error with the charging station and we're predicting that it is something to do with uh, the software setting being incorrect. Uh, so unfortunately the Savory West one isn't working but that's not the one we need. So that is okay. Oof. Yeah, lots of bugs. Um, so, you know, as you've seen previously, we cleaned the uh, front of the vehicle and now it's basically back to what it was. So a little bit of a futile effort. Um, we're here in Kukholtz, uh close to Vanderhof, and we're charging off of one of these 25 kilowatt chargers again. Um, I just want to mention, uh, for those of you who don't quite know yet, these are, these are free, so at least for now. Um, what I know is they're supposed to be paid at some point. Um, officially, I think they're supposed to be paid already. But these ones are free so far on our trip and uh, we're okay with that. Um, we're getting about 22 kilowatts off of a 25 kilowatt charger, so that's totally fine. Um, now the thing is, the last time we came here, uh, the other charger is not working. Again, same problem as all the other ones that weren't working. It's requiring a tap card or some kind of uh, app, but um, there's no such thing. So we don't know how that's uh, how that's supposed to work. So uh, as you can see, this is the one that's not working. So, um, hopefully they fix it soon. Again, we assume that it's some kind of a software setting issue, um, but we don't know for sure. So we're gonna finish charging here. Uh, because it's free, we're gonna charge a fair bit and then we'll go on to Prince George and we'll let you know when we get there. Just left uh, Cult, which is close to uh, Vanderhof. Um, we charge at the 25 kilowatt charger for uh, for about, I would say, 30 minutes or so. So we're back up to 65% uh, battery, and we are heading to today's destination, which is Prince George. And the first place we're gonna visit there is a KFC. Uh, we're gonna get some uh, get some KFC chicken in a bucket. Um, we're gonna gain a bit of weight, so that will be all very nice. And uh, just kinda wanna talk to you a little bit about just more about charging uh, on this specific trip on the Highway 16 through BC, which is the charging infrastructure is not great. It's quite rudimentary. Um, there's definitely not enough chargers for me to travel this road very easily without a care. Now, before going on each uh, stage of the trip, uh, we do careful calculations on uh, what the consumption is like, how much energy we're going to need, and how much we're going to need to charge at each charging station. And because on some parts of the road, they're actually not spaced that far apart. Sometimes within 150 kilometers of each other, which is fine. Uh, my vehicle, the Hyundai Kona EV, can comfort, confidently go uh, over 300 kilometers, sometimes 400, uh, under these conditions. So 150 kilometers in between each charging station is not that bad, but there are segments where 
there are great distances between charging stations. So, for example, between um, Boulder Creek and Burns Lake, that's 263 kilometers. You know, some EVs that exist nowadays couldn't cover that distance on the full charge. So that means those types of EVs cannot make this trip. There are a lot of level three chargers that are being planned, and I think most of them are 50 kilowatts along this route on Highway 16 in BC. And when those are built, uh, it's going to be a lot easier, uh, a lot more convenient to travel because the distance between each charger is less. And the other problem we're having on this trip is some of the chargers are not working. Uh, thankfully, enough of them are working that makes this trip possible. But when chargers are not working, it really reduces the confidence you know a driver has on the entire route. Because if a very critical level three charger is down, you're going to have to use a level two that's on site. And the level two charges a lot slower than the level three. Um, let's say the level three is a 25 kilowatt level three, so charges at 25 kilowatts maximum. Um, a level two charges between at best six to seven kilowatts. And that's about you know, four to three times less. And, you know, if there are Tesla destination chargers, and if you have a Tesla, you use Tesla destination chargers, sometimes you can get up to 11 kilowatts. Um, but if you're, have, if you're driving a non-Tesla in North America, it's probably six to seven kilowatts for level two charging. So if you're going to use a level two charger instead of a level three charger, you are going to use three to four times more time charging. And that just increases the time of your entire journey substantially. Now, if your journey is your destination, then it's not as much of an issue because you get an extended break. However, most people are planning to get somewhere within a specific timeline. And if you're extending your trip by a long time, that makes the whole trip very unpleasant. So what I would like to see is more charging stations along the route, more reliable chargers so that they're working when you get there and then this route will be a lot easier for EVs and it's only difficult for EVs to travel this route right now simply because the infrastructure is quite rudimentary and we just need more charging stations. We are here in uh, the parking lot of our hotel here at Prince George and uh, of course we had uh, some KFC it's very delicious we charged for a little bit at the local Hyundai dealership um, they only had a level two we didn't stay there for that long only got a couple of percents so we are at 57% uh, battery right now and let's take a look at our whole trip today. So the whole distance is 726 kilometers and uh, our consumption is 6.1 kilometer per kilowatt hour for all of today. And that's actually pretty good. Um, I would say today's trip is very smooth, mainly because our planning definitely involved experience from the previous days when we came from uh, you know Prince George to Prince Rupert. And a couple of chargers were down, uh, but thankfully not so many that it hinders our trip. If more chargers are down, we would have had to resort to level two charging, uh, which is gonna cost us a lot of time. But uh, thankfully that's not the case. So yeah, like I said, today's trip was very smooth. Uh, weather was nice, consumption is low, and uh, I'm very happy. So tomorrow we are going to go on a trip from Prince George back to Calgary. And this is again a little bit of a challenging route. So thank you so much for watching. I am Solomon and this is John. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.